Hey everyone, I'm your Russian teacher Alina and if you're new on this channel, don't forget to subscribe and to like this video. Because today I'll give you a very important thing to learn. 12 Russian question words. It's very important because knowing these 12 Russian questions, you'll be able to ask any question you want. Also, you'll be able to know how to use them correctly, because a few of them are very similar, and if you're a beginner and if you just start learning Russian, you might not know this difference between some of the questions, and you might using them incorrectly. Actually, very often even people with pretty good Russian still make mistakes using these question words, because, as I said, they are very tricky and they are very similar. So, let's look at all these 12 questions. The first one is easy. It's just question кто? Кто? As in English, who? Here we don't have any surprise. Always use this question when you need to ask the question like кто это? Or кто там? Then the second question is что? What? And here that's where we have a problem. Because we also have another similar question. I mean similar in English, because we have a word like какой that in English we translate also as what. Какой will have four forms. Какой, какая, какое, какие. So what is the difference between these two? It's very easy to understand and to remember. Что you use only with verbs with actions, like what are you doing, what are you thinking, что ты делаешь, что ты думаешь, что ты хочешь. Also simple question as what is it, you will ask using this word. Что это? And какой, какая, какое, какие will be different, because какой, какая, какое, какие is when we need to ask the question about the object. So always it will be related to the noun. For example, какой сегодня день? Какой день? We ask the question about day, not about some action. Or какая сегодня погода? Also same, погода, that's what we need to know. Then, again, two similar questions in English, that's где и куда. In English, both will mean where, in Russian they are different. Где you use when you need to ask about the location, like where are you, где ты. But if you need to ask the question about the direction, the motion of the person, like where are you going, you will have to say куда ты Идешь. Где ты? Куда ты? Even without verb идешь, we understand that the question куда ты means the motional question, like we need to know your direction. So here also be careful. When you have any verb of motion, идти, ехать, лететь, you will use always куда and где for location. Then the question that you can hear very often when you start learning Russian language is откуда? And you hear it like откуда ты? Where are you from? Then another question word that also has different forms according to the gender or plural form, that's чей? Whose? Чей? Чья? Чьё? Чьи? Like this I can ask. Чей это дом? Or чья это собака? Or чье это платье? Or чьи это часы? So here, depending on your word that you ask a question about, you will change the form of чьи. The next question is когда. Also can be a little bit tricky, because in many languages after when you don't use future form. You try to say everything in the present tense. But in Russian, always when you ask the question starting with the word когда, you will use your verb in the future form. For instance, когда ты приедешь в Россию? 
приедешь, приехать. That's perfective aspect and the future tense. Or if you want to use imperfective aspect, like когда ты будешь есть суп. The next two Russian words that again have only one translation into English. Зачем and почему. Many people know only почему, because it's more common to learn at the very beginning and more common to use. Почему, зачем, both mean why. But in Russian, actually, there is a big difference between them. And if you ask question, зачем ты это сделал, or почему ты это сделал, we actually know the difference and we have the difference between them. Like this. If you ask the question starting with зачем, you want to know the purpose of the action. Like you're asking the person зачем ты это сделал? Like what was your purpose? So that's why зачем can mean something negative. So if the action was a little bit negative, you can ask the question зачем? Like why? Why on earth you did that? Just зачем? And if you want to ask about the reason of the action, not necessary that it was something bad that person did or negative. No, here you just want to know the reason. Почему ты это сделал? Maybe you're just curious about some people's actions and you ask почему? Почему ты это сделал? So here you want to know only the reason of the action. The next question is как? Also a very popular question that we know from the very beginning. And usually this question means how. But a lot of people confuse it and a lot of people try to use it as what only because of one thing. Because the question what is your name in Russian sounds like как тебя зовут. So people, obviously, from the very beginning, they learn this phrase, what's your name in Russian, and they start thinking that как equals what. But we already know that what can be two options. It can be что and it can be какой. But the question как тебя зовут obviously is exception. And we translate it as what's your name, but if you translate it word by word, you will have how do they call you? And like this, you can ask different questions like как погода, как настроение, как жизнь, как дела. Another question, very important question that you know from the very beginning, как дела. Как дела, or you can ask как ты, как вы, как она, как он. Anything you can ask here using this word как is very important. And the last question, number 12, is сколько? Сколько? How much? How many? In English you have two, in Russian this time we have just one question. So сколько you would use for everything. Сколько денег у тебя есть? Or сколько детей у тебя есть? How much? How many? You see, just the same question. The only thing that you need to know about this word is that after сколько, if we're talking about grammar, you would use a genitive case. Genitive plural. That's important. Genitive plural is the most complicated form. So here you have to be careful when you ask questions using the word сколько. As a bonus, also uh, we need to ask sometimes the question what time? Like what time do we meet? We can also use this question сколько. Like во сколько? Во сколько мы встретимся? And that's it. You see, it wasn't that complicated. Here we have not many question words. But yes, it's tricky. Pretty tricky. We need to know all of them to ask the correct questions. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe to my channel and learn Russian with me.